Hey guys, today I'm going to be playing Battle Warship Naval Empire. So I would like to start off the video by saying that I'm not sponsored by this game or any of the other random wacky videos I've made. And I'm probably not going to be anytime soon until I get a significant sub increase. So I've been playing this game for about a week now. And I don't usually like this genre of games, which is, um, idle base building games, pretty much. The best thing you could probably compare this to is a naval version of Clash of Clans, which I also stopped playing just because there's other things I would rather do. I'd rather play a competitive game where I can actually feel like I'm doing something. Because the thing I generally dislike the most about this genre of gaming is that it's completely pay to win, which I might be making a future video on. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you're looking for that, but also hit the bell so you can find out why on earth I'm playing this game if I don't like it. So you're probably wondering what all this has to do with the title of the video called Can You Help My Friends? So now that the game's finally loaded, it takes a good two minutes. I should probably start off by saying this game is very loaded, very busy. Like, there's a lot going on all the time, so you should really only get this game if you have a significant amount of time on your hands. Okay, so... The challenge I was trying to complete was aircraft carrier base level 13, and I did. And for what the challenge was, I'm going to make in the next video. So just subscribe and turn on the bell and you don't have to worry about getting notified about that. You can't really hear anything, but I have my volume turned up a little too loud for this. Okay, so... Let me just try and explain everything as quickly as I can, because I don't want to waste too much time. And just go over the basic strategy if you want to play this game for yourself. So... The reason it's called Can You Help My Friend is because in our alliance, our clan leader, his name is King Mo, he wants to build the best alliance in the entire game. And he actually kind of, I don't want to say begs, but he, he said I should think against leaving the game because he knows I'm pretty good and I generally am at most games. His, uh, f what I believe to be fiance, Ryan Ash. Even though we're not actually friends, they did give me a pretty in-depth <laughs> on their life, so... They're, they're on this game every day. If you are considering playing this game, definitely join the ICU Ismail underscore clan, because this is definitely one of the fastest improving clans that I know of. That And the, these you have to keep in mind, these guys are not pay to win, so they're really trying their hardest to actually do well. I, th I think they might have paid for some aesthetic stuff, which I'll show you in the world map in a little bit. So, I would have a crazy amount of honor points here. You'll, you'll notice I'm really low on resources for what level I am, and that's because I literally shoved all the resources I had into the clan building since I'm not going to be playing this game anymore. And... I actually did make a video exactly for this. It was 40 minutes long, but the video, the audio was just garbage, so I'm redoing it. So I'm just gonna try to go everything really quick. So you have your nuclear reactor, you have your tactical command sensor. <laughs> so most of this stuff is actually voiced in this game, and this is the way it says tactical command centaur. Anyway, so you have your tactical command center. You have all your resource supplies, which are your oil rig, power plant, nuclear reactor. Since I'm level 13, I have three sections of them. I try to get an equal amount of each, because why not? I do find that you have way too much uranium in this game. I mean, I've never ran out of it, is what I mean, ever. I've always had enough for whatever I'd need to use it on. I don't know if that's because I wasn't using it efficiently or not. So... You have the daily store, 
the black market's the best because it'll give you daily deals which you can buy stuff that doesn't require coins. It does right now only because I made a video purchasing all the stuff that didn't cost coins. If you play the game, you'll see it for yourself. You got all the stuff you can buy in here. You can upgrade items, aircraft carriers with different items you get from either fighting pirates or completing missions or the particle accelerator. So the particle accelerator is a little mini game that you play that you spend your tokens on and it just gives you items. So you have your research lab where you can improve your stats. You have your aircraft factory which has all your aircraft. You have your command center which does it gives you daily activity rewards. I'm not sure what else it really does. You have your dock which houses your ships. Mine's a little low on health because some random dude transported into our base and started attacking literally everyone. And if King Mo didn't get online, I, I feel like he would have just completely destroyed our entire clan. King Mo got online and he's he's definitely ahead of me because he started a few days earlier, but he also plays more, I'm pretty sure. Like he's really being, <laughs> I don't want to say try hard, but he is definitely dedicated to this game. So if you could help him out and join the clan, and if you do decide to do that, I'll leave a link down below to the game and make sure to tell him doodly sent you. I'm sure he'll appreciate that because I did tell him that I was going to make a video on this subject and he, he does appreciate that. So. so you have your battleship destroyer and cruiser depots. That's where you can build all your ships. You can also do... I'm not sure where the repairs take place, but you can repair a bunch of your ships all at once for a pretty darn high cost depending on how many ships are or if you're in a clan you can get benefits if you're in the range of the clan which let me show you right here okay so that was a victory against the pirate rally rallies are one of the best ways to get items in this game or should I say resources and items Okay, so this is what I want to talk about. So the CVP, it'll give you messages telling you when you are and aren't in the area of effect. So you also can do missions, which give you parts or uranium. I haven't seen them give out anything other than those. Being VIP also gives you some advantages in the game. I, th I believe one of them is um so you get the free speed ups at a higher level I'm pretty sure this stuff lasts after you're not a VIP anymore as well but you do want to level up your VIP just so you have the lasting effect I might be wrong about that though so I also have your base power ups I just bought some and I shoved them on in the last video, but they're still going now, so I guess it doesn't matter. I should probably also mention, you pretty much never want to use basic teleports, because it just randomly teleports you somewhere in the world, and I don't know why you'd want that. I guess it would help if someone was about to attack your base, that's the only reason. And then you'd still want to transport back to your actual base, because you want to give up the benefits, but you need fixed teleports for that too. So a lot of the resources and stuff you can spend on either upgrades or just specific stuff like recall flares is just going to call your ships back. Everything has a purpose in this game. A lot of this stuff is straightforward. What I really want to talk about is the strategy to this game. So you always want to be um, either doing a rally or farming resources. So rallies take energy from this energy tower. I already did one. That's why I have three out of four. And it refills every four hours, I believe. E either four or five. I should probably also talk about the psionic zone, which is up here in the left. So this has commanders, which you can upgrade to improve your stats even more. And they're, it's based on your... Um, building level so it's this repair workshops level two which means my um iron giant can also only be level two and all the other ones in here can only be level two which is the reason you upgrade them 
I don't want to waste too much time on that. The last video was 40 minutes. I'm trying to keep this one at 20. So there's also a bunch of in-game events, like world bosses. You have the Alliance and Urgent events. We also have individual events, and they're changing all the time. So you really have to look at the events when they come in to know what to do if you want to get involved in that. I actually got really lucky in one of the events just because I never upgraded my aircraft and then there's an aircraft event and I upgraded them all and I made like top 10 or something. Just by chance though. Okay, so... Doing... St it's really good to be an alliance in this game because you, if you donate to the alliance, you're not just, you're getting points back, which you could use to get more stuff as well, and then if you're a really mad lad, you could even donate that, <laughs> which is what I did, because you'll notice I bought more resources, I'm just going to end up donating all of them back into our clan here, because I'm not going to be playing this game anymore, which is what I think this message from Ryan Ash is, probably like a thumbs up or something. Oh. <laughs> It's a shocked face, I I guess. They they really don't want me to leave, guys. So again, please please join their clan and help them out. They'd really appreciate it. Make sure you're a dedicated player, and you'll probably make um. Or they like on the third day, they already made me um captain. I bet they'd make me admiral too. But they know I'm not staying, so there wouldn't be a point. So you have your clan building, your storage. You have your radar, which helps on the world map, which I'll explain in a second. You have your help desk, you have all your ships. Submarines, I can't really talk about because I don't have those yet, but I assume it's the same as the rest of the base building stuff. Okay, so... You have your rank section, your missions, your items, your mail, your alliance, and just all your general stuff on the bottom. So, the Center for Prevention Violence, you can find by clicking on the top left if you're in the clan, it'll bring you right to it. And then you can donate these crystal things as technology, and you get donation points for that. And then you can also store resources in here, and you can get interest back if someone helps you. And all they have to do to help you is click on... See this little hands button right? That's just for helping in general, but if you want to help someone in the Center for Prevention, they have to click on this building specifically, but there will be a message in the chat if someone needs your help. Okay. So, another benefit is the free repairs. So the thing about doing rallies is you can get a very, sig a pretty darn significant amount of resource, but then if you're the main, not everyone gets attacked in a rally, because some people are better than others, and if they win all the fights, you get the rewards without really doing much. But, if you're repairing your ships, that can cost just as much as doing the rally itself. So the free repairs, if you're willing to spend the time, because you can't repair all your ships at once in the free repair, but it's, it's definitely going to save you a lot of resources. So, rallies, collecting resources from your collectors. And the last thing, you see this pirate and skull bones? This is probably the most important thing you're going to want to know about the game that they don't really tell you starting out. Is that you don't need to scroll throughout the entire world to find stuff. You can just search for it here. So, you press the arrow buttons and it'll let you pull up a selection screen on either enemies or resource tiles. So... If you really want to get resources, or you're in desperate need of resources in this game, you pull up the resource pirate thing, and you go to the resources, and you look up the specific type of research, or you look up the specific type of resource that you want, and you just click on it, and it brings you right to one of them. That's decently close to your base, and that'll save you an extreme amount of time. Because if you're just scrolling like this throughout the entire map, it's just gonna take you forever. So... There's a lot always going on in this game. You have daily check-ins and all that, and just a bunch of rewards and a bunch of different upgrades and stuff. 
which is why I just wanted to make the video on what the best way to get resources is if you are interested. Because King Mo would definitely appreciate your help. He's a really cool guy who calls everyone in the clan <laughs> brother. You, you can even see that though if you just open up the um, message board here. So this is me just saying goodbye. Pretty, pretty much every message he writes oh, it has the word brother in it. Um, yeah, he also has a WhatsApp. So if you ask him about that, you can even talk to him, I'm pretty sure. Maybe even his uh, fiance Ryan Ash. They did give me a pretty in-depth look on their life, I guess. So, yeah, I think I actually covered it in 15 minutes this time. Which is way better than last time. And the, the rest you can really figure out yourself. I just wanted to go into some of the stuff you may not have noticed. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shove all of my resources in here. As you can see, I've already done a 11.4 million resources this morning when I tried to make the original video. So as you can see, there go all of my resources. I don't need them. You know, make sure I donated all of them. Okay, yeah, so you can also click this uh, button in the top left if you want to get a better view of the map. You can also save certain selection coordinates. So the, if you're wondering what the good loot is, that's just a random point I pulled up in the middle of the map looking for someone to attack. It is not worth your time to attack people in this game if you're looking for resources. Because I think you have to destroy the entire dock, and unless you're hacking and you just have a ridiculously high level chip, that's pretty much never going to happen. Like, I, I spent 30 minutes attacking a level 1. It, it got me nothing. And, like... He actually had resources too, but it wouldn't give me any of them. So I, I just just mutilated a level one for no reason. I actually felt kind of bad. So this square is the radius that you can see, and maybe even less. As you can tell, this is a pretty huge map, which again is why you want to use that search feature. I, I really hope this helps you guys if you consider playing the game. Again, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. And if you do decide to join, tell King, King Mo that Dude Lee sent you. He'd really appreciate your help. And hopefully he does make it to be one of the best alliances in this game. I could definitely see it happening. So I'm going to leave off with one more quick message. Okay, so I'm back in my images section. I just wanted to show this off. Just a pretty cool image to show you guys that King Mo and his fiance are pretty cool people if you do decide to join one of the best clans in this game. So I was just referring to my YouTube channel and we were having a discussion and a kind word to end off the video. We all need it, but just keep believing in your dream and working towards it. And I really think I couldn't have said it any better myself. So thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.